Today we will be talking about some of the most common algebra mistakes that math students make. Now, we all know algebra can be a tricky subject, and even the best students sometimes slip up. Some of these mistakes fall under the category of cringe, others are just oops it happens moments, but then there are those that are careless errors, and we can't forget the ones that make us go, seriously? Xiao Hong Shu! All right, so let's get started for tier list. So we have our tiers, seriously, careless, it happens, and cringe. Our first offender would have to be this guy right here, where if you add two different denominators, the sum of that would be the sum of the denominators. This is simply not the case. Um, this is a problem I've seen often, and I believe this would have to go into the seriously tier because it has a fundamental flaw of understanding about fractions. However, this could also go to a careless tier because if you're rushing, you might think of this real quick. Next up, we have log one is equal to zero and log zero is equal undefined. So these two are both true. You can tell from its parent function that this is the case. However, this problem arises when students are solving log expressions and don't simplify them down all the way. So they leave these uh, as is. This would have to go in the cringe category simply because if you're taking a quiz and you put one of these down without simplifying it all the way through, you're gonna come back later and cringe at yourself for losing those points. Solving for the wrong variable is a situation we see often. Uh, this can be fixed by just reading the instructions. So I would have to put this in the care list here. Next up, we got the expansion of binomials. And if you have two of them, you can use FOIL. However, oftentimes students forget this and just um, multiply them wrong in some weird fashion. I would have to put this in a seriously tier. The next error we have is solving for the angle theta without considering multiple solutions. This often happens when you solve a trig function and you're only restricted to the unit circle, which has a domain from zero to two pi. However, we should always remember that these functions are two pi periodic. This one would have to go to careless. Speaking of angles, next up we have radians and degrees. This is often a mistake that students make on their calculator. This will go in the it happens tier because it happens a lot when students are using their calculator and just trusting it blindly. However, this could also go really wrong if you're taking a big exam, say the AP calculus exam. Ah, uh, quantity of x plus y squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. This would have to go to the same regime as FOIL, so definitely seriously tier. Knowing the domain or range of a function, now this one I understand because if you have a square root, um, sometimes that might be tricky. If you have a composite function, that might be tricky. This would go in the it happens tier simply because the more problems you do, the more familiar you become with its domain and range. Next up we have misunderstanding the inverse trig functions. So you have tangent to the power of negative one. That is tangent inverse or arctangent. So that is not one over tangent x. So this would have to go into cringe. Next up, we got forgetting to distribute everything. Now, this would have to go into the careless category simply because if you're working really fast, you might forget to multiply a term, uh, but don't make this mistake. Next up, we have a big one, and that is a negative sign. So oftentimes students will drop or mishandle the sign during computation, such as multiplying two negative numbers or going from one line to the other and forgetting to put that negative sign there. I would have to put this in the cringe category Next, we have wanting to cancel out all of the x's out of habit. Being a serial canceler, or someone who cancels out variables without considering context, such as forgetting x is not equal to zero, or misapplying the operation entirely, can often lead to nonsensical results. Therefore, I would have to put this in a seriously category, because it has to do with a misunderstanding of algebra. Secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Now this one I would have to put in it happens tier, simply because these are misleading names, Secant refers to one over cosine, whereas cosecant represents one over sine, and cotangent represents one over tangent. The cotangent being the one that makes the most sense. Division by zero, just don't. Seriously, tier. Not combining like terms. Now this one had to go to careless category because if you're rushing, this is something you will often forget. Ln of x plus y. No, you cannot apply log rules to this. I would have to put this in seriously. Finding roots incorrectly would depend on how the mistake was made. Some common missteps are forgetting that it might have two solutions, such as x squared equals nine, with solutions x equals three and negative three, making arithmetic errors, or 
not using the quadratic formula correctly. Now this one would have to go into the care list tier. Now that wraps up my algebra mistake tier list. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can do a part two for this. Thanks for watching.